I'm Dr. Sarah Robinson, Director of Delivery at Eastern Academic Health Science Network. As a result of new ways of working to support health and social care colleagues respond to the COVID pandemic and new national funding, there's now closer working relationships between Eastern AHSN and the NIHR Applied Research Collaboration in the East of England. In April 2022, I became the implementation lead for the ARC which means that the HSM will be better placed to support the implementation of ARC-funded research and help improve implementation capacity in the system. I'll explain what that means in practice shortly, but first let me introduce the Eastern Academic Health Science Network. Eastern AHSM is mandated by the NHS to deliver innovative solutions to health and care challenges across the East of England. We also have reach and connections beyond the region because we're a part of a national network of 15 AHSNs throughout England who work together. Our purpose is to turn great ideas into positive health impact. We believe that health is improved by great ideas, but these great ideas only make an impact when they're put into practice. Our health is too important to leave change to chance. So how do we achieve this? We'll receive funding from NHS England and Improvement and the Office for Life Sciences. We spend approximately about 50% of our time on the adoption and spread of national programmes, including patient safety programmes and programmes to support the use of innovative medicines and diagnostic tools. The rest of our time and resource is spent on locally initiative and shaped programmes. This means that in addition to working with the health and care partners to spread well-evidenced innovations, we also work closely with our health systems to understand the local challenges. We identify innovations that may be able to help and devise pilots, and we accompany these by robust real-world evaluations. We convene the right people to gain deep understanding of the challenges, opportunities and barriers that may stand in the way of change. We develop great ideas into workable, evidence-based solutions that will deliver outcomes in real-world practice by working closely with innovators and entrepreneurs. And we deliver measurable, positive health impact, creating better health outcomes. And we do this through the delivery and evaluations of our local pilots and the spread of the national programmes. As the implementation partner for the ARC East of England, the HSN will offer a range of different support. We're going to build on the work already undertaken by the previous implementation leads and continue and offer breaking this down into three core components. The first is implementing ARC funded research. The second is encouraging an implementation culture. And third, we'll build an implementation capacity and skills. We're also really keen to work closely with the ARC to build evaluation capacity for our AHSM funded projects. In supporting the implementation of ARC-funded research, we have a wide range of tools, knowledge and expertise that we can draw on to facilitate implementation. And this includes an understanding of external policies and incentives that affect the uptake of innovation and a deep knowledge of understanding our health and care system. We understand through our networks and our relationships the structural characteristics, the culture and the implementation climate in which many of the organisations we work with. We work quickly to understand how the individuals involved on a project may impact the implementation and this may be through their knowledge and their belief about the intervention or their own capacity to undertake extra activities. We've got the skills and the expertise to develop a good understanding of evidence, cost and alternative in interventions to create a cohesive case for change. We have project and program management skills to plan for change, monitor, mitigate and respond to risks and manage budgets and help ensure that projects are completed on time. We also have excellent stakeholder management skills to get to the right people around the table, work with citizens, engage our leaders and identify champions and change agents to support implementation on the ground and we look forward to putting all of this into good use with our ARC partners. In terms of encouraging an implementation culture, there are several ways in which we can do this. We're actively working and looking for opportunities for the AHSN to support implementation with existing ARC projects. We've established joint roles and visibility between the ARC and the AHSN, both in terms of relation of my role and a joint implementation and evaluation advisor role. And we're available to support and review grant applications for implementation activities 
to ensure that implementation is considered from the very beginning of projects. And finally, in terms of building that implementation capacity and skills, we'll be supporting ARC Research Fellows and Implementation Fellows, including supporting placements at Eastern AHSN and supporting the teaching programme that Fellows receive. We offer a wide range of academic and work-based placements and internships for early and mid-stage academic and health professionals to learn about implementation and evaluating innovation. We're really excited about all of the possibilities to support the implementation of evidence-based innovation resulting from the excellent ARC research that's ongoing. We believe that this will lead to better outcomes for our patients, healthcare organisations and staff.